United Native Americans and also a member of ACE. I came here to stand in solidarity with millions of people around um, America who are actually in danger of losing their homes. There's actually 12 million people now who are in danger of losing their homes. I'd like to bring attention to all the banks that we as the indigenous people here in North America, Central America, and South America, we signed 389 treaties. Now these treaties are the highest form of law on the land. And I don't understand how these banks have illegally obtained land that is rightfully ours as the indigenous people, first and foremost. The second part I'd like to really bring up is the fact that through these 389 treaties, we gave up over 1 billion acres of land. <coughs> One billion acres of land, we as the indigenous people. All of this land that you see is stained in Indian blood. Right now, my father, who is one of the founders of the civil rights movement, his name is Dr. Lehman L. Brightman. He founded the first Native American studies program in the United States at UC Berkeley during the Third World Strike. He went on to that program, started the whole decolonization period for us as indigenous people. We only had 10 Indians out of a whole race who actually had PhDs at that time. And through that peaceful program, we've been able to you know, bring hope to our people, help them become doctors, lawyers, engineers, and help us you know, recover some of our, our lost traditions and continue to get cultural <clears throat> acceptance through the dominant society. I came here to stand up for my father. My father is an 82-year-old elder. He had a stroke back July 22nd of 2011. And right now, the bank, because of his stroke, is trying to take our home. And like a lot of elders here and around America and, and the globe who are now facing this foreclosure, you know, an eviction, and forceful eviction, it's really disheartening to see these elders who've worked all their life. All their lives. All their lives, man, who are now in danger of losing what <coughs> once was the American dream. Can the American dream be saved? That is the question. It's up to us as the human race to come together at this time, at this juncture, right now, to unite as one people, one race, one blood, one people, and stop all the foreclosures, stop the evictions. Thank you. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much. Yeah.